All right, this is going to be the first test with the um, turpentine in the scrubber. We got rid of the uh, uh, vinegar, put turpentine in the scrubber, which smells pretty good. Uh, adjust my flow. Good around three. I haven't attempted to light this yet, so this will be the first try. That's pretty good pressure though. Well, here it goes. Wow, well, that's a beautiful blue flame. Look at that flame. Isn't that something? All right, now I'm going to go ahead and see. Man, if you look at that flame, there's yellow way up above the blue. And it's a totally different flame now. This is not what we were using before. This is different gas. Definitely different gas. I may uh, play with the uh, flow rates a little bit. Right now we're between three and four on the CO2 flow meter. I'm pulling uh, 28 amps, 12 and a half, 12 and a quarter volts. So we're well, well under our 400. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up a 16 ounces in somewhere. From the looks of it, it'll blow right through there. I don't know if you can see that or what, what's going on in there because I ain't that tall. You can see how blue that flame is. A bigger flame now than it was with the same setup. And also, now it has that blue part to the flame, which you did not have before that was missing before so this setup is definitely better we'll find out all right uh, I've put the other burner on there with just the holes drilled in it uh, the first one I made and I'm about to test that
almost looks like propane burning if you can keep it lit. Okay, and it's lit. You see their blue flames, and they look just about like propane wood. Now my, my air flow is off, so they're flaming out when the air pressure drops too much. I'm gonna set the pot on there. getting some flame action there that's pulsing quite a bit between three and four. And that's really from the supply from the cell. If I had that evened out a little bit more, I think we could maintain a lot better flame there. But the flame itself is not bad. It's small, but it's not bad. Now I've got it lower from the can about a half an inch in the pan or three quarters of an inch, something like that. So I can see the bubbles inside on the bottom where the heat is. It uh, seems to be spreading that heat out quite a bit more, which I think we can do with tips too and just a uh, different configuration than what I have now. But when the gas is right, this type of uh, would work. Now they go out and relight themselves. Alright, so we have a little backflash there. Pressure is fluctuating below three again. Not sure why. I'm gonna try and get it to quit going below three. Well, I know why. It's because the compressor kicked on, so the air pressure changed. All right, I think I got it straightened up pretty good. Wow. All right. I think I got it straightened up pretty good. Wow. Poof. Just like, just like natural gas. Poof. Poof. And they all lit. That's awesome.